pet peeves. Um, like what kind of pets I want? Okay, so I know that you don't like it when I throw my clothes on the floor. It's not just clothes. Anything on the floor. Oh my god. I'll take tags off of um off of clothes and just chuck it on the floor. It drives you crazy. <laughs> that's that's one of your pet peeves. In your opinion, when should you stop putting things in a trash can? When it's full. When is that? When it's full? When the contents are spilling onto the floor? When is it full? No, I wouldn't say when the contents are spilling onto the floor. Our bathroom trash upstairs. It's not spilling onto the floor. Oh, baloney, it's not. It's not. <laughs> the trash next to my bed on my side is spilling onto the floor. When is, when is it full? I'll get it. I'll get it. So that's one of your pet. Trash is one of your pet peeves. Trash is absolutely a pet peeve. Okay. You'll cook and there will be boxes, empty boxes that just kind of sit there. Because because I cooked and uh -huh. now I'm going to eat. Right. And then I will clean them up. Sometimes. <laughs> Okay, okay, so you know mine. What's 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 one of what's one of yours? Uh the other one is because you don't like things on the floor so much, mm. everything then piles in one space. Are you talking about the chair next to my bed? Yes. That has clothes on it? Yes. Because you have a chair and a couch on your side of the bed or on your side of the room that have clothes on. Those clothes need to be hung up and put in the closet. Uh-huh. Right? But if you look at the pile, they are laid, for the most part, on top of each other. They're laid so that I can get the hangers and I can hang them up. When I, Saturday morning and I'm in the mood, then I'll, I'll do it. It's been a couple Saturdays. Saturday morning, it. this Saturday? Can I, <laughs> I, got, can I, I got. write this down? No, it's on my honey-do list. But for you and your clothes that are in your chair, yes. is there any order to them number one yes there are no dirty clothes in the chair they are clothes that i've taken out and either need to go to the dry cleaner or they need to get ironed before i hang them in the closet like it's just shirts and suits and all that stuff it's not worn clothes the worn clothes are on the floor next to the chair and they're normally not clean but not dirty and i can wear them to the gym the next day and then they can get then they get washed. Ah, so that is the strategy. Yes. Okay, so you take the clothes off at night. Yes. Store them near the chair. Correct. So that in the morning you can pick them up and put them on. And wear them to the gym. Because I'm them gonna, to the, why wear the clean, gym. clean clothes to the gym when I can wear moderately clean clothes to the gym. I feel like you're judging me right now. I am. Okay. It's a, it's, we're going to the gym to sweat. We're going to get them dirty. Why would I put on clean clothes when I have cleanish clothes that I can wear? And that. Because it's going to exasperate the stink that's laying I'm in the clothes. In the gym. I don't want to. I don't, I don't like to smell. Even in the gym. <sighs> I mean, I'm not wearing perfume or anything to the gym, but I don't like to stink. I'm definitely not going to walk in there with a pre-stink. A pre-stink or three minutes in stink, I feel like it doesn't really matter. Like, you still stink. <laughs> like... Uh, uh, and okay. It's not like I took off the clothes that I was mowing with. It's like... I got home from work at 5 o'clock. I put on some shorts and a shirt. And I wore it until 9 o'clock, and then I got in bed. So in four hours, they didn't get dirty. I wasn't outside doing any manual physical labor. I was, like, cooking dinner or eating dinner or sitting down and watching a movie with you or making silly videos, whatever. We were doing something. They're not dirty. They're just pre-worn. It's like those pre-washed jeans. They're pre-worn clothes. Okay. <laughs> All right.